What up guys, 95 Mang here doing a little bit of 40 breeder frag tank action. It's going to be a nice little update. Uh, what's going on and uh, this just happened uh, not too long ago so I wanted to put a video together for you. To be honest with you guys, the uh, 40 gallon breeder, it's been doing good but I kind of lost interest in it. Um, the reason why is I just really haven't been keeping up with it. Uh, the T5s, I love. The bulbs that I'm using are Blue Plus from ATI and the Coral Plus from ATI. Um, still a good light fixture and I got it for free from my buddy Tim. The Corals, pretty much I haven't been uh, messing with. They have a lot of little bubble algae, some hair algae on there. And uh, I just haven't been keeping up with it. So what I'm going to do is uh, break this tank down. Um, I already pitted on a local fish club and uh, offered it up for 60 bucks. They want it, they can have it. If not, I'll just store it in my garage. And, um, you know, I'm always jumping from the 40 to the 20 and 40 back to the 20. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump from the 40 and drop it down to a 20. What I really would like to do, guys, is have one frag tank underneath my 180, plumb it into the 180 and uh, just go from there. But for now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break down the 40 and go from there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one last time, this bad boy. Uh, really good amount, but I'm just not fragging that much. And to be honest with you, I have no interest in really making a business out of it. So I just frag and I just keep them for myself and grow them out and uh, trade them up. Moving tanks is always a mess. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to get my uh, brew container. It's a 32-gallon brew container. I have it marked off 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 gallon increments. I'm going to pump a little bit from more than the 20 gallons, about 25, so that I can use a hang-on back filter. And I'm going to use the same water. On the bottom of the sump of this tank, I'm just going to go ahead and get that uh, matrix out. Put it in my 20 gallon so that way I could have a little bit of uh, filtration. This tank is so neglected that I did not use a heater on it, which is why a lot of my sticks and and I'm um, surprisingly my Zoas um, majority of them are okay, despite the water being you know really cold. Another thing that I was doing this weekend, uh, I was checking out some tanks. I was looking at an innovative marine. 25 gallon lagoon. I've been thinking about that tank for a long time, but I'm glad I didn't pull the trigger uh, Price on it is also coming down. I also thought about getting an innovative marine 20 gallon all-in-one But I just came back to my uh, Tank right here the good old faithful 20 gallon cost $20 at Petco with that thin blue line on there um, And it's doing really good. I'm gonna use this tank and uh, go from there. I'm glad I didn't spend 200 bucks when I have a perfectly good 20 gallon in the garage. It needs to be cleaned up, but you know what? I'm not even going to clean it up. Another thing is my brute container right here. I use this for my water changes and uh, a must have, guys. Don't be cheap. Go ahead and if you have a brute container, get the wheels on it because these things are great. I lug water all over the house. Don't make a mess because I don't fill it all the way up. And have yourself an MJ1200. I know you have one of these laying around the house somewhere. Zip it up, stick some hose on it, and you can move water back and forth easy without having to hurt yourself. Uh, tight spaces, whatever. Just drop that MJ in there, plug it in, and you're good to go, guys. This is actually how what I do to fill up my auto top off. I fill up some buckets, drop the MJ1200 pump in there, maxi jet, cobalt, whatever you want to call it, fill it up when, as I get full, unplug it, and I'm good to go. As you can see, I'm using uh, the MJ right here to move water from the 40 gallon breeder into the trash can, or I call it my water container, and uh, once I hit past that 20 gallon mark, I'm going to be good to go. Um, it's better than using a siphon. Because the siphon, um, if your tank isn't high enough and the bucket's not low enough, it's not going to pump as fast. So that's what I use right there. This ended up taking me most of the day. I ended up starting about 8 o'clock in the morning 
and to be completely finished about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon just rearranging uh, corals looking at things that I don't want taking out frag plugs that were covered in algae or whatever and go from there moving tanks is always a pain in the ass man I don't care how many times you've done it I've done it over and over and over and uh, as you can see I got frag city right here lots of frags all over the place but I'm just gonna grow them out have my little 10 gallon sump got a big ass mess in the living room right here and this is a new location of my new tank uh, which is the 20 gallon I'm just gonna do keep it easy use a hang on back uh, filter which I've used many many times and uh, I'm gonna stick my light on there the light that I'm gonna use is the coral box that I have right there it's also called a nano light and uh, reef breeder sells them uh, it's been a good light and you know what was pretty crazy is since the whole time that I had the 40 gallon breeder up the light settings on this light has not changed it still ran this program I just plugged it in tightened it up to the tank and I was good to go now I still have that aquatic life fixture with the four bulb T5s I'm thinking about using that or dropping down to a single T5 strip and keep my LEDs because um, LED and T5 combo is the best way to go and uh, we'll just see from there um, I like the way I like to have lots of room to work with it unless I somehow drain this tank again and then set up the T5 fixture with um, some rails so that way I can have plenty of room to work with I don't know it just depends but for now my main concern was to drain the 40 set up the 20 and move all the corals from the 40 and to the 20 and as you can see uh, it's a little tight in here but it still has plenty of room for me to work with I need to rearrange things clean them clean up the tank uh, I'm not even gonna hook up the skimmer right now and to clearing up the cloudiness I am gonna use some of this filter floss right here that I picked up from uh, the store Petco and uh, it'll it'll do all kinds of good stuff you know I like doing this better than uh, using filter socks you know the 40 gallon breeder it was drilled and everything but um, and I was using filter socks with that but uh, this is just we're just gonna keep it simple and grow some frags but I hope you guys have a good one and uh, enjoyed this video if you like it thumbs up it if you don't like it thumbs down it like and subscribe that'll be great and uh, you know what hope you guys had a good one I did uh, end up smoking my turkey I got to say everybody ate my turkey more than the wife's turkey because mine came out pretty bomb and uh, anything smoked is pretty good um, next cook that I'm gonna do I don't know yet but uh, probably do some ribs whatever maybe some beef and pork uh, and go from there anyways hope you guys like the video you guys take care take it easy any suggestions hit me up and uh, like and subscribe guys